hi family thank you so much for clicking on this video in this video i'm going to share with you my baby moon experience on the cruise yeah you might be a pregnant woman and you probably clicked on this video because you are also looking for ideas on what to do for your baby moon then guess what stay right here to the end of this video because i'm going to share with you five tips if you are a pregnant woman and also if you are a first time cruiser i'm going to share with you five tips that is going to benefit you so make sure you're going to watch this video to the end My name is Matilda Kumsen. Welcome to the Kumsen's Life. If today is your first time watching my video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like this video if you think it's beneficial to you. Okay, so this is how this whole baby moon came about. Okay, so with my first baby, I wasn't close to my husband, like where we're staying together. So we miss doing a lot of things together. So with this pregnancy, we are now together. So we wanted to do something so special and to make this pregnancy one thing that we're going to remember all of our lives. So we didn't know where to go, whether to travel outside of the country or to do something within the country. We had no idea. So my husband have these friends. They are couples. They travel a lot. As we were deciding on having our baby moon, we were just browsing through Facebook and we came across one of their pictures that they were on the cruise. So it just hit us that why don't we go on a cruise? My husband gave them a call and they recommended this um, travel agent to us. Her name was Alicia. When we reached out to her, she gave us a lot of options for us to choose from. She was so, so helpful. We finally decided to go on the six day cruise and we were heading from Florida, Port Canavera, and we were going to stop at Haiti, Labadee, and to Bahamas, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. We also needed to book a flight from where we live we are in massachusetts so our port of boarding of the ship was in florida orlando so we had to book a flight from massachusetts to florida so we can board this ship now it was up to us to plan and to prepare for the cruise so as a woman you know you know some of our things so i started planning and shopping buying a whole lot of stuff as to clothes, as to i mean i started making research on youtube i contacted the travel agent to help us with tips on what to do and whatnot i bought sunscreen because we were going on summertime we needed sunscreen to protect our skin also i bought hats sun hats for us i i did a lot of shopping for myself my husband and our daughter and also i bought this magnetic hanger which was so helpful because inside of the um, ship it's all metal so you can just um, put those magnetic hangers on the wall so that you can hang your hats your whether you have some weapons you can hang them with your shirt your swimming costumes and stuff like this one day i was just making research on what to buy again my husband came and he was like it's enough we are not buying anything again because even the bag that we were supposed to travel with we had to exchange it because i did a whole lot of shopping so remember i told you it was around covid time and it was a requirement that you have to go for a covid test before you can get on the ship so myself my husband and our daughter we all had to go and have the covid test 48 hours before we can board the ship okay so this is how the whole fun began okay so day one we had to get to the airport by 4 so by 4 a.m we were at the airport just waiting to board the flight so by 5 we took off and straight to florida orlando we got to florida around 10 a.m in the morning and our ship was to take off at 4 p.m and we were to board the ship at 2 p.m we got there way too early i mean we had no option than to request for an uber to the place we got there around 11 30 so when we got there we had to find a place to have some lunch because we were so hungry i mean no food from the time that we left the house you know we couldn't eat anything so 
we went to one of these nice restaurants and we had some good meal over there we relaxed for like two hours we left the place around 1 p.m so another frustrating thing that we came across was when we got to port canaveral around 1 30 p.m ready to board the ship you needed to go through immigration before you can board the ship because we were going outside of the country when we got there we got to find out that our daughter had to do a COVID test again. Even though we did one 48 hours before the boarding day, they still requested that we do the COVID test for her. She's three years old and make sure it's negative before we can go to board the ship. And that took us around two to three hours because there were a lot of kids also there. At that point, I was so exhausted. We waited for that three hours and it was done. It came negative and now we were ready to board the ship. This is where the fun began. As soon as I saw the ship, <laughs> I started freaking out because that was my first time to see, I mean, to see a ship, okay? That is my first time. All those that I've seen is in, whether in movies or in graphics and stuff like that. That was my first time to actually see a ship. It was so beautiful. Like, inside of the ship, everything is so clean. Like, the lighting everywhere. I mean, glasses everywhere. It was so beautiful and it was so mind-blowing. So, everybody was happy. My daughter got inside the ship and she was like, Wow, daddy, this is so beautiful. So... <laughs> <laughs> You're glad I don't. Hi, beautiful. Hey, mama. Okay. Now the family are finally here. Allah. Oh, baby, yes. Yeah, I mean, you have to try that. You have to try going on the ship and you're going to have this experience that I'm sharing with you right now. So when we got inside, we asked for the membership decks. That is the guest service people. So we went there and we, we went to ask all the questions that we had for the first day because it was our first time. So we wanted to know exactly what goes on in the ship we went there we asked all our questions and they explained everything i mean they have time for everybody then from there we headed straight to our room okay so when we got to our room that was where the real experience began <laughs> because we paid for a balcony room imagine you waking up every day and just watching the ocean so the first day we just went to the balcony we just started to explore all the balcony i mean looking at the ocean i mean a whole lot of memories and you know we are one people that we always sleep with ocean noise you know so that was like something that was happening real you know yeah you are now witnessing that thing in real life <laughs> my baby moon <laughs> ah, i couldn't have any perfect gift for baby moon but this one is so refreshing i feel so refreshed you know so it was a nice experience for the first day after we got settled so i started unpacking and whatever was supposed to go in the closet i put them in the closet but also in the bathroom i did all that we had our dining time at 5 pm and just when we went into the ship it was our dining time but we couldn't make it because we were so tired so i had to make a call to the dining room and request for my time meaning that we want to request for our own time that we want to eat so i did that and i mean that reception for the first time was so nice this 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 guy who picked up the phone was so nice you know he was so nice to me he explained everything to me and that was it our our time was being changed to the my time so at 8 30 p.m we headed to the dining place and oh my god the place is so beautiful we had a nice meal everybody was so happy but the first day you know you were tired so right after the dining we just headed back to the room and we slept so on the second day we went for our breakfast and it was so nice we didn't go to the dining room this time we went to the buffet area and inside the ship we have this ice cream 
joint in there and they also have hot dog joint which if you're hungry you can just go there to grab anything that you want everything is inclusive which is free and they also have a 24 hour pizza joint with sandwich with cake i mean anything any snack that you want you can just go there and grab it because you've already paid for it we had a big surprise ahead of us you know when you got on the ship that is when we got to find out that there is a formal day that is a formal night you know you have to dress so nice like dinner wear and you go for dinner with that almost everybody on the ship does that you dress like very nice formal dress then you go for dinner you take pictures and we have a lot of memories on that and with that i would advise you to use your phone to take a lot of pictures because um they, they have these photographers on the ship but yeah price is expensive to even have the digital copy is like 25 dollars for one for just one day guitar copy so took a lot of pictures with our phones yeah we had people to take i mean people are so nice so if you ask them to take your picture they're gonna do it so we used our phones and we have a lot of pictures on that day because i dressed so nice i was in my moment my husband was in his moment so on the third day i couldn't wait to get to labadi haiti because of i mean all the stories and the reviews that i heard about the place just got here to haiti La Badi. So we just went on the tram, then we headed straight to where we booked for our excursion. So we went to the beach and we just went relaxed at the place. Myself, my husband, my daughter. Let me tell you this funny story. She, I mean, this was her first time to actually when she was little, we took her, but she didn't she didn't see anything because she was a baby. So this second time it's like she could touch the sun, play with it. She, she became so excited. I didn't know why. She was so happy, you know. And she didn't want to get off the sun. She wanted to just be in the sun, play with the sun, and you know how kids behave. So we got in the water. Same thing, she didn't want to get up. She really loved swimming. So we all got in the water, myself, my husband, and our daughter. We got in there, we explored the place, and this funny thing. I mean, there was lunch being served during lunch time at Labadi, the um, and on the beach. It's free. Royal Caribbean people, when it comes to food, I mean, I salute them for that. There was free food, free snacks. That was for our lunch. Even though we weren't in the ship, we didn't have to even buy anything. If when it comes to food, you don't have to buy a lot because we have the beverage packet too. We can just drink anything that we want so far as we've already paid for that. I could pick food and my husband would be like, why are you taking them to? I'm like, I want to go store them in the room. <laughs> After this whole exploring of the beach and getting back to the ship, on our way, we met these people, these Haitian people who were playing nice and beautiful music. They, were, they asked for money. This is so funny. They asked for money, but unfortunately, my husband gave the last, um, the last cash on him to some people who also play some music so when you got it they asked the request for money my husband said it's all done so they were a bit disappointed right and as we tried to talk to them that we are so sorry it was intentional i mean that was the last cash on us and we had to just give it to them because they were the first people that we met so as i was saying that one of the gentlemen just walked to me and she was like i want to give this stuff to you for free for your baby <laughs> and it's so like i don't know it's so funny they were selling this stuff for 20 dollars or so but they just gave it to me for free you know so if i tell you they are nice people they are nice people a big shout out to the haitians people at labadi beach <laughs> if they get to watch this video i mean i say thank you so much for this beautiful stuff for my daughter for my unborn baby and for cinderella so thank you to them On the fourth day that was on the sea then me and my husband we went to the ice cream joint we just went to grab some ice cream then from there uh we went we started exploring the place i mean it's, it's so the ship is so big if you don't take care you wouldn't even be able to explore the whole place before you get off they have a lot of they have i think three kinds of pools inside the ship and they have a whole big playground it's like a theme park on the ship
Before I forget, if you are um, a mother traveling or you want to go on a cruise with your kids, you don't have to worry, okay? They have a daycare, a daycare on the ship, which is free. You don't pay anything because everything that happens on the ship is included. You've paid for that already. So as we were exploring and touring inside of the ship, we came across this place and that is Adventure of the Sea. Like you can take your child there and you don't have to pay anything. So we chose that option to as well so that we can leave our daughter there and have time for me and my husband and our unborn baby okay so on the fifth day as usual when we woke up we thought we were going to the balcony to have our um, romantic rituals as we've been doing but unfortunately we got there we were on land we won't we were not on the sea again okay we were at bahamas with a different ship that has also arrived which they're also coming to perfect their book okay so we couldn't go to the balcony on this fifth day because the ship was just i mean it was facing our ship so you can't when you get outside people are going to see you come see your pregnant mama i, I mean i got my nice beach wear and that was it <laughs> we got down then we went to perfect day okay so it's like just two to three minutes walk to perfect that book okay from where the ship stopped to the place the perfect day coco k beach and my excitement my husband was so surprised and i was later i was even surprised at myself because of how people i mean express the place i mean how they talk about the place i was so excited i mean to to get to perfect day coco k bahamas <laughs> <laughs> so i was so excited my husband went for the water sliding and my daughter too she loves pool so they went to swim i mean this it was so the sun was so hot for me so i didn't get in the in the first pool because i was feeling so hot i didn't want to get in the sun so later we went to a different beach inside the perfect the coco k that place is so beautiful like even just the entrance of their i mean for of the beach so colorful a lot of th it's like a theme park the the people who work there are so nice so at that place too they have free lunch for everybody that comes to the place we explore the beach i mean we have so much fun in the water like i'm saying my daughter loves water so much so she didn't want to come out so my husband requested for this excursion which is um, water sliding, which he requested for the pregnant woman. I, I couldn't request for that. So with my daughter, like I'm saying, when she see water, she doesn't want to come out. So she really did explore herself. And in the sun too. So <laughs> when we came back, I mean, after everything, after all the activity, she was so tired. I mean, like she, she looked like a drunk person. She was so tired. Knocked out. With the hat and the life jacket. Knock the hell out. <laughs> On the faith, I was so happy she was happy. And you know, mothers or parents, that is our ultimate goal to always see our kids happy. And that is what I saw my daughter. She was so happy. So I was happy too. After our exploration at Bahamas, that is perfect day at Coco Cay, it was time to go home. And that was when it hit me so hard because I didn't want to get off the ship. But my husband wanted to go home because of the network, you know. There wasn't a mini consistency of the network. Like they had this network on there, but it wasn't that strong. So with him, he can't do away with his phone. So <laughs> on the on the fifth day, he was happy that we were going back. But I was sad because I didn't want to get off the ship. You know, as as a as a wife, staying off this whole wife activities, like no somebody will come lay your bed for you, no cooking. It was like my relaxing moment. So I wanted to stay forever on the sea, but you know you can't stay on the sea forever. So. We needed to go back to the house.
so on the fifth day after our exploration like i said we headed back to the ship and it was all night on the sea <laughs> to florida port canaveral that is when we had to get off the ships back to our home <laughs> so much for making it to the end of the video just as i promise you of the five tips if you are a first time mama that you want to go on the cruise or if you are a first time cruiser who want to go on the cruise i'm going to share with you the five tips number one make sure you find a travel agent if you are a first time cruiser and you want to go on the cruise because they're not going to charge you anything it's free okay these people have been taken care of by the cruise line so if you go find a travel agent it saves you a whole lot of stuff like the hassle to go through if you have to cancel your your ship they are going to help you when it comes to flights so an agent is going to take you through all the process you or she's going to be with you from the day that you contact them to the day that you go and even so when you, because i still have this communication with the travel agent she's so nice she's so helpful to me so i would advise anyone going on the cruise to go for a travel agent like i said they don't charge you anything number two plan whatever you want to do on the cruise even before you get on the ship royal caribbean cruise line they have this app that you can download on your phone which they have all these excursions on there all the activities that you want is on the app okay so you can take that opportunity make sure to book all your excursions all the activities that you want to i mean get yourself involved and all that even before you board the ship because if you don't plan ahead of time, the ship is so big to the extent that you wouldn't be able to explore everything on there. But if you take your time, I mean, before you board the ship to explore the app, all the excursions, all the activities, before you get on there, you will know what you really want to do on the ship. Tip number three, this is for the pregnant women. If you are pregnant and you want to go on the cruise like I did myself, make sure you are not above 23 weeks pregnant okay you are not over 23 weeks pregnant because royal caribbean cruise line they have um these restrictions if you are above 23 weeks you can go on their cruise line so make sure before you even book the ship you are not 23 weeks and above and also make sure you go to your doctor and talk to your doctor about your plans to go on the cruise get your approval first okay for your safety uh, and and for your unborn baby because you might be going outside of the country and you don't know what might happen number four make sure to bring your phone if you have cameras you can you can go with your camera if you have phone you can make sure you go with your phone so that you can take a lot of pictures like the whole thing is keep making memories so you have to take a lot of pictures with your cameras or your phones okay so if you have a camera you can go with it i mean there's no restriction on that and make sure you take a lot of pictures with your phone so that you can have fun memories and keep forever the last tip that i'm going to give you before we conclude on this video make sure you get all your essentials before you go on the cruise so know the kind of um time that you are going like read the, the weather okay with me or with my family we went during the summer time I, I made sure that we had our sunscreens our hats our sunglasses to protect ourselves from the sun so if you're going the winter time too you can prepare towards that and that will be it for today's video thank you so much i'm so excited like i said don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we're going to bring you a lot of fun not just the cruise 
I'm gonna share with you like I'm saying baby is here and she will be he or she will be out so soon we are not done with the gender yet so I'm gonna share with you the gender review so make sure you stay tuned to this channel I love you so much and stay tuned